Holy shit! This is even better than Justin Bieber! Holy fuck! Hey Joe! It's kind of boring. What the fuck are you watching? Oh, oh, ah, uh, 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 it's, it's nothing, it's, it's, it's nothing. So, Alfonso, what the fuck are you doing here? Can't you see I'm having my special time? I do not like being interrupted in my special time, Alfonso. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything, you know. But I've got some great news, Joel. I've got some great news for you. What? Okay, so, so what's the news? Check this out, dude. I've got this super cool new haircut. It's so goddamn slick. Oh, really? Oh, sure. Let's see it. Hey, Vsauce, Michael. Welcome here. to the rice fields, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. This is how your mother likes it. I bet your mother likes it like this. She loves it. I decided that I needed to conduct a study to find out as to why my friend lacks the hair on his cranial area. I gathered all the books I could possibly need for my research. I made sure I had a heavy load of material that covered many branches of science. In fact, it was indeed heavy. I thought one might slip. <laughs> so I headed downstairs, carrying my heavy load. right into my study. I brought a pen with me in case I needed to jot down any notes on my handy dandy notebook. I set out and organized all the books and material on my desk. As I said, I brought books of almost all branches of science so that I may study them and find a possible conclusion. I started out with my first book. Unfortunately, it had nothing to do with baldology or the science of bald people. Then the second one. When I got to my third book, I still got nothing, so I decided to take notes on anything helpful, at the least. One by one, I continued dissecting each book, ranging from the scientific, the philosophical, and the fictitious. I have read almost every book I could find and still got nothing, so I decided to check on my notes to see anything that I already know. 68 plus 1 equals 69. No, no, that can't be right! I started getting frustrated. 
I realize that even after hours and hours of dedicated research, I still haven't got any leads. This was my last ditch effort. There was one branch of science I still haven't uncovered. Psychology. I desperately looked everywhere in that book to find any information I could use at all. But they... They were all useless. I've had enough! This is absolutely appalling! One by one I tore down the books from my desk, realizing the failure I have committed. This is an embarrassment to the name of science! All my peers will make fun of me for my failure! My co-worker Dexter will make a complete mockery! Not even Marie Curie can cure my failure. Thirty years has passed since I first conducted my research. I can't give up just yet. A true scientist never gives up. Einstein is my nigger! I lost my home and my job, but I brought the Bible with me to further my research. I realized I haven't touched religion in my studies. I was very intrigued at first, but as I kept reading, God just kept killing everyone, even his own son. I mean, who does that? I've run out of all material to read upon, so I would do what the average philosopher would do. Walk around in nature like a retard and think about life and the meaning of it. I began to meditate and felt a certain energy in me that spelled out the universe. My only friend was a beagle. This good old chap was a good listener, and I shared with him the true meaning of life. The only thing that matters, the only thing that matters in this whole life, the existence of our being, our very being, lies in one little thing. Our satisfaction, our very significance, lies in cocaine. Cocaine! <laughs> cocaine! <laughs> As I snorted the gift of the gods, I realized everything. Oh, my lord. Hey mouse, mouse, please, I have a cancer, mouse. Mouse, I have a cancer. How could have I been so stupid? It was right in front of me this whole time. The answer, the key to my research. The very moment I saw him, I knew it. Fucking hospital! 
This haircut because I like it. <laughs> oh. Well, in that case. <laughs> you look like Amber Rose. <laughs> what are you fucking gay? <laughs> Get out of here, piece of shit. <laughs> Amber Rose. <laughs> well, that was pointless. <laughs>